This is a Pincrest 5 tube AM radio. Pincrest JC Penney's department store house brand. Another store soon to be extinct thanks to the COVID overreaction, shut everything down, kill everything off. I'm sure there will be some comments that say, what, you don't want the, the, our leaders to save us? That's what our leaders are trying to do. They're trying to save us. Yeah, right. Nice ventilation on the bottom. Belongs to a friend of mine. He recapped it. He works on radios. It has a weird problem he couldn't sort out. The volume fades away after it runs for a little bit. So, and I did verify that. So let's see if we can diagnose that. that that's a problem that can be caused by couple different things usually. Silver mica, silver mica disease will do that. Also bad tubes will do that and that's a problem that the tube tester will not catch. Is a gassy tube that starts to overconduct and short as it heats up. Well here it is and I have seen this chassis before and this is Japanese made and it is an ultra minimalistic design. Maybe it's not Japanese. I don't know. It's tough to tell. The IF transformers kind of look American. That RMC, is that American? I don't know. Mixed feelings on this. Not much to go wrong here. Well, he said he recapped it, but maybe this is the wrong radio. I don't see... Look at the discoloration of the circuit board there under the 50C5. There really is not much of anything to recap. All this has is an electrolytic. Everything else is disc or couplet. I mean, this is really minimal. That doesn't mean it can't work well. Got a lot of hours on a look at the discoloration. Someone commented that we like radio videos more than TV videos because radio videos are more relevant because nobody's using old TVs. Well, there is a point to that. And I will say I have been getting a whole bunch of inquiries about fixing radios for people. And I don't want to get into that. I don't, I really don't want to do outside repairs. I really just, I don't. Hopefully these videos are educational enough to where if you have a radio and you're interested in diagnosing and fixing it, these, radio, these videos will be helpful in you achieving that. Why didn't the Sherlock and Mary Rose in the driveway? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, we're a very family friendly network, so uh, we love to hear these families. You can manage every penny. R Ryan's in. <laughs> For overpriced. Okay, I believe that's 1260 AM. What I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the wattage. It's at 25.6. And we'll come back to this in a little while and see what happens. I'm not going to touch anything. Okay, the wattage is starting to run away. After about 10 minutes, the volume is almost totally gone. We've gone up 2 watts. Now, I would almost bet that that's a gassy 50C5 tube. Um, we can measure the grid, control grid, and see what it does as it warms up. 
These are problems that a tube tester will not catch. All right. What we're going to do is measure, we're going to start by measuring pin 2, which is G1. We're going to watch this. It should be 0 volts. Uh, if it starts to increase, it's probably a leaky tube. We could also watch uh, the cathode pin 1 which should be about oh, 6 volts and look at this we're at 900 millivolts there should be a dot there so it's 0.9 uh, on the geez where did my brain go it just like took a break on pin 2 which is G1 that should be zero so if this if this was an old set with paper capacitors I'd say well the capacitor is leaking but this uses a couplet which I guess that could be defective which is that little thing that looks like a square disk capacitor down there which is a an array of capacitors and resistors well let's just see what happens I have a feeling after about 10 minutes this is going to start to creep creep up as the tube gets clinky Doimler. And here it goes. Maybe if I keep the Cat Stevens below the Bird Stevens audio level. Then uh, content ID won't ID it. Yeah, look at this run away. We're still at only 25 volts. We're up to 28. So let's give this a few more minutes. We're still cranking right along here. Keep in mind this should be zero. Look at our wattage going up. That sucker is hot. It's kind of uh, settled at 8.4 volts. So what I'm going to do with a paper towel, I'm going to yank the tube out. And it should go to zero. If it doesn't, then um, the couplet's leaking. Tube is bad. Gritty mission. Self biasing itself to death. Okay, I popped a new old stock 50C5 in there. We're 25 watts. One volt, that seems a little on the high side. Or it's six volts on the uh, cathode. Let's let this run for a while. Out of curiosity, there should be a resistor pulling that G1 off the ground, and I think it should be around a meg or something, and it's measuring up there pretty high. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I'm thinking 470 K to a meg resistor pulling the pulling that to ground and I'm wondering if that's open in or gone up in value in the couplet. Walked in the house and I grabbed a Sam's folder that was on my desk because I figured basically we could look at any set that uses a, a 50 C5 and pretty much get an idea of what the resistance from G1 to ground should be. And look at this GE, General Electric, from 1966. If that's not the exact same circuit board, look at that. 
even down to the disc capacitor and the couplet right there and that wire that red wire it's all the same so GE must have been sourcing the chassis from the same actually the the tuning condenser is reversed isn't it well let's get an idea let's see so this is the couplet right here so see 470 K to ground so the couplets open that resistor in the couplets open actually let me double check my connections real quick because I was using the frame of the tuning condenser for ground and if I go to the capacitor I'm not at 1 volt I'm at 0.9 volts so 0 0.09 volts so maybe I'm being stupid here like usual and looking at the schematic that would be correct the frame of the tuning condenser is isolated from ground through that capacitor right there so that is a stupid place to get a DC ground reference from so it's just a tube because right now I'm measuring uh, 690 ohms so that Assuming it's the same couplet as this, that resistor's gone up in value a little bit, but not enough to hurt anything. That's the uh, cathode. Looks good. It's very stable. So that's it. It's a bad 50C5. And these are issues with tubes that are best solved by substitution or measuring voltages in the actual circuit when they're under full load with full voltage and full heat because this is a problem that would be very hard to diagnose with a tube tester anyway uh, easy fix neat radio into the line for department store COVID-19 subsidy masterpiece extravaganza